welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you two new smocking designs that I've been doing on some pale blue wool fabric, which I had and I cut up and I hope you're going to like it. Let's get straight into the video. That's the design that we're going to do today. So they're like little diamonds coming across every other one and then in between on the next row. And I've done that down as a square, left a couple of squares either side and a little bit of a gap at the top and at the bottom I'm using some old woolen fabric here. It's the bobbly side up so that I've got the design on the other side. Okay then, so I've just started off here I've done the first two patterns. Obviously we've drawn out some little diamonds there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a pinch there with my needle into the next one. And the next one. Over here. And over here, back to the start. And then I'm going to just push the middle in Give it a little pull there and I'm just going to pop a little stitch in over the top. Pop a knot. Perhaps another one. And then I'm going to jump over to the next one. So I'm just working my way across. Small stitch. Pop another little stitch in there. Over here, over here, back to the start and push the middle in, tiny little pull there and then I am going to pop a little stitch in at the top, needle through, give that a little pull and another knot. So you can either cut the thread off there or you can do what I've literally just done, which is jump across. I've got enough thread, I see. So over here. And then that would be the first row done. So let me just finish this one and then we'll take a look at it. So this is like a little mini diamond. I haven't done this one before. I've done something similar, but just tweaked it a little bit just to have a little explore and see what we can get really. So I'm just going to pop a stitch across there and make a knot. And I am going to cut that off. Okay, so I've done a row, I'm just going to show you the other side. Looks like this at the moment. Crack on with doing the rest. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to skip this row, actually, and I'm going to go to the next row. And then I'll skip that row and go to the next row. I just want to leave a gap in between.
Okay, so I just finished. That is the back. And how delicate is that? That is so pretty. Usual, I just need to remove the pen, spray that off with some water. But that is dinky, isn't it? With wool, really holds well, very nicely. Love that. So I have drawn out another grid, and also the diamond design. And this time I'm gonna try a slightly different approach and see what we come up with. Okay, so this time I'm going to start over here. I'm gonna come up here over the top. Hi Lola, you come to join me. Down over here. Hi. Yeah, you give her a stroke. And then back up. Over here. And then I am going to pull the thread and tie a knot. All right, jump to another stroke. <laughs> like that. So I'm going to continue with the row and I'm going to be working my way up. Okay, so I have completed this one. And then if we just flip it over, it looks like this on the back there. which is what I was looking for. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. These are the two that I have got done. I'm really enjoying having a go and experimenting on various different fabrics. I think this wool works really well. And if you are new and you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you watching regularly. Have a great week and I'll see you shortly in the next one. Goodbye.